So basically, there's a weird thing going on right now. And basically, masculinity is dying. And not because masculinity needs to die, but because masculinity became corrupted, just like anything else. Basically, like religion became corrupted, just like America became corrupted. Masculinity is now corrupted. Feminism even got corrupted for uh, a bit and still is. Or people are using it to just man-hate, basically. So... Basically, masculinity has been corrupted. So now there's a backlash on being masculine. So now little bitch boys, basically, are starting to sneak by, basically, where people are not so into, like, the more dominant male. They're starting to get into more passive males. And what this is doing is making it to where men are becoming more passive as by, nat by nature uh, because women want more passive men, so now men are becoming passive men, so they are wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just basically a game of you know, what we want, what they want, what we give them, what they give them, whatever. It's a weird dance. It's kind of stupid. Everyone's faking it, and everyone's just living off of this fakeness, and more and more fakeness is built upon itself. And then you get America right now, where everyone doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, and there's just impossibility every which way. It's stupid. But the point is, masculinity is dying. I just want to point out that masculinity is not a problem. And it's never been a problem. It's the people that corrupted it, that made it a problem, that became powerful so that they can be um, overpowering of other people. Not so much being powerful so they can lift up a chair or, you know, like stop a car from hitting a young kid or something like that. No, they work out so they can beat the shit out of the next big guy so that they can try to, you know, make the girl like him. That's what's going on. And you bitches need to stop opening your legs to that guy that is the biggest guy on the campus because you're just fucking rewarding that attention. You know, when you walk around and you see a guy walking around trying to act all big and macho with his shirt off, if you look at him and you appreciate him at all, you're giving into that fucking world where uh, masculinity is becoming evil, basically, where they're using their, their power to, um, what's it called, intimidate people, basically. You're part of the problem. You know what I'm saying? You're killing off masculinity. I, I'm a man, right? But I'm not masculine man. Like, I have fucking long hair. You know what I'm saying? And then, I will say, I am a bit masculine at times. Um, but I, I'm more reserved about it and I only bring out that manhood when need be like if if Like if for example, like I say a wolf runs up to the pack, right? Then I'll go and walk up to it and I'll go and fucking let my I'll let my man come down and I'll be like what the fuck are you looking at wolf? You know what I'm saying? Like then I'll bring it on but other than that, I don't give a shit Basically, you know what I'm saying? Like if a dog walks up to the pack, I'm like, yo, what's up, dude? I don't give a shit. Like hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, hey, you know being all nice, whatever I'm not like all these other guys that got a fucking baby dick problem and they can't let you into their secret circle or they're gonna, you know, you're gonna tell the truth or whatever. I don't have to go behind people's back and talk shit. I'm fucking up front. Like, look at me, dude. Like, look at me. I, like, it's weird. I have nothing to hide. Like, I do this just so that you could focus on me and listen. Not so much because I have a fucking problem with my eye or whatever. It's just, I mean, I do have a problem with my eye, don't get me wrong. It helps me focus this way too. But it's just so that you focus and you listen to me and you're hearing me. You know what I'm saying? Because it does become a thing, and it becomes a, uh, um, what's it called, um, like I'm talking about it right now, that's what happens. And everyone wants to talk about it, and everything I'm saying in this video is thrown out the window. So that's why I cover it, so that you just fucking focus on what I'm talking about in the video, okay? So masculinity is not a problem. What's a problem is the corrupted portion of masculinity. Just like America. America's a fucking great place. Everyone should want to be here. You know what I mean? But there is a problem right now where certain people are in control of America, and it's corrupted. Basically, that's the part that we don't like. That's the corruption. And there's this part of religion where, like, be good, be good, but then there's a corruption aspect of it. Don't be gay, you know, and then, or kill gay people. Like, that's the corrupted aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about religion in a sense where, like, real or not, who gives a fuck, there's a lot of good to come from it. So, period, end of the story. You know, if you want to be an extremist and say, oh, I'll fuck religion because I said fuck gay people, then you're no different than people that said fuck gay people in the first place. I mean, you're exactly the same thing. You're exactly the same thing as they are. They were opposed to gay people, and you're, you're opposed to them because they said they were opposed to gay people. Like, if you're going to be just as hateful as they are, then you're no, better than, you're no better for anybody than anyone else. So even for me, if I was a gay guy or whatever, which I'm not, but if I was a gay guy, I wouldn't be holding it on, like, over on everybody else. I'd be like, it's all right, dude, it's whatever. Just let it go, whatever, who cares? And I'd move on with it. And that's a part of me that makes me a man, by the way, is I can move on with something. I'm not going to let it just sit there and fucking tear me up in my mind. And there are things where, like, I will... But when it comes to like face up in front, like face to face kind of situation where it's just like we're dealing with something here, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? But there's not a lot of people that get that out of me. Like, I'm like, what's up, dude? Oh, hey. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. And there are times when it's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. Let's talk. You know? And there are some girls that will draw that on me, but like, not many. I'm not going to lie. 
but um like there's a lot of qualities about me and like i, I don't know i'm not gonna get into that but yeah just masculinity is not a problem masculinity is a good thing uh feminism is not a problem or fem not feminism but being feminine basically it's not a problem i i personally like it uh, i don't mind a feminine girl who can get tough every now and then we need needed i think that's legit like a ballerina you have to be strong to be a ballerina but you also have to be a feminine and be graceful and etiquette you know what i'm saying so it's, it's a mix of both and that's what i like you know what i'm saying and I'm, I'm the same way like i can put my manhood aside and be something else because i'm there i can hear you out i have heart but at the same time if i need to slap you in the face i will fucking slap you in the face and i won't give a shit when i do it you know what I mean? Because there's a greater goal. It's the fucking discipline your ass. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am in my comments, too. That's why I don't fucking take shit from nobody. Oh, you call me fat. Because you are fat. Call me fat, motherfucker. I'm fat. Okay, now what? Now we move on. We're moving on. You know, sh shit like that. So, yeah, anyways, uh, that's about it. I just want to bring that up. So, masculinity is not a problem. Do not overlook people that are masculine. Don't kill off masculinity. Um, because all you're doing is allowing people that are outside America, for example, to bring in masculinity and then destroy all of the men in the world and then take over America via them being masculine and us not. Which is basically what's going on right now with between black people and white people, basically. And I'm not trying to be racist between it, but if you look around, there's a lot more athletic black guys than there are athletic white guys. And as a result, there's a lot more black guys getting ass than white guys, basically. Tell me I'm wrong. Try it. Tell me I'm wrong. Show me where I'm wrong. Bring it. I'm not saying that white people don't have athletics. I'm not saying that. And those that do are white people that are athletic. They're getting ass too. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying the athletic part of it is why they're getting laid. And that's what the focus is. But at the same time, how many of them are actually dads that are going to stick around? How many of them give a fuck that your name, what your name is? You know what I mean? You're just one bitch out of the thousand bitches that they're going to meet. You know what I'm saying? So that's where it's coming from. That's why they don't fucking stick around. The only dads that do are the ones that can't find some other bitch on the side or go start a new life with another bitch. Those are the ones that stick around. You know what I'm saying? And that's where it comes from. I can literally, logically break everything down and explain everything because that's what I fucking do. I'm an engineering psychologist. Master in both. Peace.